you saw Yelbert Sena Sosa, and now we're going to talk about these groups, which is the unit of compute in a vSAN cluster. And the, these groups are actually a collection of disks that exist in the host in that cluster. So if you have an ESXi host, you will put a bunch of disks uh, inside the host. But the, the disks themselves are put in this collection, right? this logical unit of these groups. And in the, this group itself, there is an architecture where you have two levels. Uh, and the first level is the cache level where you have an SSD. Just one disk, no more. And in this group, there is also only a single cache drive. So the SSD is your cache. And then in the second level, in the second level, which is the capacity tier, you can have either SSDs or hard drives. Now, you could use either one of them, but for performance reasons, you probably want to go with the SSDs, right? That, that will give you the best performance you can get. Um, and this second tier, or the second level, I should say, is called the capacity. And in the capacity tier, uh, you can have up to seven disks, minimum one, up to seven. And a single ESXi host can have up to five disk groups, a single host. Now, if, if we were to do a quick math, um, for vSAN, you can have seven disks on the disk group in the capacity tier, and then one cache. That means you can have eight different disks in a disk single disk group times five. That's 40 disks that you can have in a single host providing storage to your vSAN data store, 35 of which will be for the capacity. Now, you may ask yourself, what's the role of the cache and what's the role of the capacity disk? And it all comes down to performance. So VS uh, VMware decided to design vSAN to be a very high performance uh, storage solution. B uh, VMware does not have something like tier zero, tier one, tier two. vSAN does not have that. vSAN just have fast and super fast. And how do you differentiate between the fast and super fast? Well, when a write comes in to a disk group, it always goes into the cache, always. 100% of the time, the, the write's gonna come into the cache. And the cache is gonna turn around and acknowledge that write. So you get a write performance of the cache speed 100% of the time. Now, the super fast difference, the fast between the super fast comes in when the read comes in. When a read comes in, if the block that you're reading is not in the cache, then the host that is hosting this group is going to go ahead, go ahead and go to the capacity to find that block. And here is where the difference between a hybrid solution, which is one where you have all hard drives, or an all flash solution makes the difference. With a hybrid solution, you can see that when you have to read from the capacity, by being just regular spindles, your read is gonna be a bit slower, right? Than if you had an on flash, which would get better performance. Now, another question you might ask yourself is, okay, so the read comes into the cache, it's not there, but it's in the capacity, but all the writes come in the cache. So when does the cache this stage down to the capacity? Well, the cache is gonna start copying blocks from the cache into the capacity disk when the blocks are cold. That's, a, that's one way that it will start these staging, which makes sense. And the other one is when the cache starts running out of space. When the cache starts running out of space, so the capacity in the cache is about 90 plus percent utilization, um, the cache will automatically start destaging stuff into the blocks themselves, I mean, into the capacity tier themselves. So to make sure that it has enough space here. Uh, now, one more thing I didn't mention is that one thing that vSAN does, so to that the reads can at least be as fast as they can, is that any time a read comes from the capacity tier for the hybrid, the cache will copy that, those blocks and keep them in cache. So that the next time the read comes in for that block, it will be in cache and the read will be responded directly from the, from the cache. So you get better performance that way. Um, something else about this is that, well, we have hybrid, we have old flash. Um, 
what's the difference between the read from the read is that when the read comes in from the old flash, it, the read, the blocks that were read, does not get copied back up to the cache. They stay just in the capacity. So because of that, there is a design uh, decision that was made for the, this, uh, for the disk group and the cache, whereas when you have a hybrid solution, the cache by default is gonna be split 70-30, so 70% of the space in the cache is reserved for the, the reading, and 30% for the space for the cache is reserved for the write. Now, on the old flash, since there is no need to copy the blocks back to the cache, I mean, this is SSD anyway, so they are reading fast regardless, there is no 70-30, it's 100% read uh, write only at the cache tier. So that's kind of the difference from a performance perspective between a hybrid solution and an old flash. Now, a few things to add. Um, if you go hybrid or old flash, every this group in the cluster has to be the same configuration. It has to be either hybrid or flash. You cannot mix and match those two. Can do that. Uh, also, the disk groups, the number of capacity disks that you have in any disk group could be different. It could vary. However, it is strongly recommended that the disk groups in the, in, the, in the cluster are homogeneous. So they have more or less the same number of capacity disks, more or less the same cache disk. So that performance is consistent regardless of where you're storing the information. Um, one more thing is that when you have a hybrid, uh, you, you will have your ESXi host connecting uh, to the network. Well, you connect it to the network regardless whether you have hybrid or, or, or flash. But when you have hybrid, one gig per second, one gig per one gigabit per second uh, is supported for hybrid. For all flash, that has to be 10 gig per second. Of course, if you go with the hybrid and you do 10 gig per second, uh, you will have more capacity on your on your network, but still your slowness is gonna be when the capacity, the reads come in. Um, and that's kind of it for what's this group. Uh, I'm Elvis and Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.